G'day guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel, Goodies Beer Reviews. Look what I've got today. I've got, oh hang on, we'll let the uh, yeah, parents get a, uh, Black Hops, the old Black Hops Brewing. Man, a bird squawk and again, everything's going on. Always when you try to do a video. You do a video and you go, okay, it's quiet, you know, and there's a car that goes by and then you start it, next minute all hell breaks loose. Bombs are dropping, birds are just going off. Black Hops X-Ray Haze. Look at this. Look at the guy in the front. I'm not assuming. I think it's also a guy. Big swirl happening in the background. A bit psychedelic. I haven't seen this before. Black Hops X-Ray Haze. Hazy IPA. Comes in at 7.2, which is good for an IPA, 7.2%, and um, a big can, respect, Black Ops always stick with the bigger cans, as far as I know, as far as I know, thank God, look at that, hallelujah, no wonder he's spinning out, 7.2, but you put, what do you do, you get XVVB and put it in, or VXVB and put it in, you know, two big more bottles, Black Ops, got a scanning code on the back. We invite you to uncover the hidden elements of this hazy IPA by scanning the QR code and journeying deep into the layers of what is usually a covert operation mm. to reveal behind the scenes of what went on to make this beer. That's pretty cool. A thick, juicy, hazy IPA packing a citrus and resinous punch with a story. Deeper than what you see on the surface. X-ray your way through the haze. 2.1 standard drink. 7.2. As I said, I have tipped the can. I'm excited about this. I'd like to go to Black Hops Brewing. Never be. I'd have to stay there half a day or have a ride home. Because, you know, you don't want to go and have one and go, oh, I'm done. One and done. Smells good on the can. Look at the colour. Love that colour. Looks dirty. Dirty, hazy beer. It's got to have Kadunka Dunks. I've got a... The can, there, the, you can scan the code. Maybe if we get close enough so you can actually pause the video and scan the code. I don't know. Don't know if it'll work, but anyway, the journey, I like how they do that. That's a little video of how they made this beer. I'm going to keep this can and I'm going to, um, very active beer, very active beer. Um, Colour is gorgeous. Gorgeous colour. The head is two finger minimum. Big foamy head, white, clear, some big bubbles. It's carbonated. It looks, we've had this before though, you know, when you've got the beer goggles on, it looks amazing, but you go, oof, you know, there are Kadunka Dunks. You got it. Look, I like the Kadunka Dunks in beers. That is not the professional term. It's a little colloquial, colloquial term we use anyway. Oof, I want to let the head settle a bit more. Bad Paul, got a bit angry, but you know, not perfect. It looks beautiful. It looks like a Nipah. But this is a hazy IPA. So the nose is very pleasant. Lots of orange, lots of citrus. Lots of, you can, there's obviously citra, hop, mosaics. These a lot, galaxy. But this is, smells Mango, big mango punch too. It's um, it smells the goods. It looks the goods. Anyway, cheers everyone. I hope you have a good day. Here we go. I'm pumped for this one. Black Ox X-ray haze. Mm. Yeah, that's a nice beer. Very nice beer. Black Ops get a lot of sales. Off sales, like off license sales, like you when know, you buy it from alcohol establishments. I picked this one up from the little Palmer's Island store, who's sadly, I think, closing soon. They're moving overseas, which sucks. I hope they. I even thought about doing a little brewery there. Imagine that. Buy the land, buy the shop, do some food and brewery. Get your brews on tap and, ah. Uh, You'd have to make them good, wouldn't you? Anyway, another chug of this. This is getting darker, deeper. It has got some of the bunker dunks. It looks good. It 
did taste good. 7.2. Yeah. Extremely good beer. Very nice. It's got deep flavours. Very potent. It's got a very bitter backbone. And then it sort of just goes away a little bit. And still leaves you going, that's an IPA. I sort of never got the hazy IPA. I always thought it would be like a more of a Nipah. But it has got that bitterness that a, a Nipah doesn't have. Look, I like it. Um, I could see a lot of people who would have one of these and go, wow, that's a nice beer. And you, you've got to be careful when you say fruity. Because this beer looks fruity, it looks berry, but once you get it to the mouth, it's sort of, yeah, it does. Mm. Yeah, it does dissipate very quick, the fruit side of things. It's very, it is an IPA. If you close your eyes, you'd say it's an IPA. The haze, well, sometimes you get confused with the haze, don't you? But um, it's a very cloudy, very big hot bomb beer. I won't ramble on too much of this video and tell stories. I'll do that next one. Got a couple of Dad and Dave's in there. And there's one I want to try. I think it's his Mosaic and Citra Pale Ale. And it's about 6 points. 6.7 I think as well but it's dad and Dave's and just as soon as I heard those two hops I went yum I mean anyways I'll leave it at that for the night black hops mate if you see this give it a go um, try it it's very lovely uh, it's, it's a I, I've got to see the process I'm looking forward to scanning the, the can but very, very nice beer. If you see it, buy it. Um, if you see it, try it. Uh, definitely on tap, it'll be really amazing. But yeah, very, very nice beer. Anyway, cheers everyone. Take care of each other. Look after each other. Love each other. And I'll see you at the next one. I love you all. Catch ya.